Hi everybody, welcome back to Dave's MI Outdoors with another review. View. And I'm coming to you today with a, I bought a pair of Georgia boots about a month and a half, two months ago. And we're gonna talk about them. I'm gonna tell you why I bought them. I'm gonna tell you what I like about them. I'm gonna give it a five, uh, I have a five star rating system and I'm gonna tell you how many stars I think it's worth. And um, let's get started. I bought the boots because they look well built. The bottoms, I like the bottoms on them as you can tell. They're, they're still not really that worn in or anything. And yes, the boots are dirty and I'm doing a real review because I'm a working class man. And I bought the boots based on the bottom. I like the, I liked how the strings were. They're like a tough nylon, like uh, the leather ones seem to break because I do a lot of, uh, I work in the weather a lot. So I bought, I like that about these and I like the way they fit. And uh, I like the, the fact that they said that they were waterproof. So they had a lot of the things that I liked about boots and um, they cost me about, I'm gonna say about with tax and everything, probably about $164. And um, for the way they were built and the way they were designed, I decided to switch over to Georgia boots. I always wore Carhartt boots, always wore Red Wing boots and I've never really had a problem with them. But Carhartt ended up changing their boot a little bit. So I, uh, I didn't like how high they started making their boots, I don't like my boots to be, they were probably about two inches higher and I didn't really like that. So I, I decided to go with Georgia boots. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you that I'm a little unhappy about one thing and I wanna show you something. It says that they're waterproof. And I'm gonna show you a little something here in the camera. So forgive me for getting up. I'm gonna make sure you can focus in on it. And you can see right there that it says waterproof. Okay, so there's a little problem with this. When you design a boot and you say it's waterproof, it should be waterproof until you get water above where the tongue stops. So it should be waterproof to about right here. Okay, so here's my problem with the boots. And this is my pet peeve because I spent my hard earned money on these boots and have been unhappy. And I believe that Georgia Boots has their own quality control and all that good stuff and by the time you call people and waste your time talking to foreign people on the phone or whoever they got working over there because I haven't called them because I'm not wasting my time and I won't waste my money no more buying them either because when you put a label on there that says waterproof and and what really irritated me today is because I live in the state of Michigan I I uh, and I like I said I work out in the weather and today we had an inch and a half of snow on the ground. It was wet snow. The snow didn't get that high on my boots today. And my boots started soaking up water like I was walking through puddles that were deeper than the tops of them. So about an hour into my day, I already had wet feet and I was already irritated. And i um, very disappointed the fact that it says waterproof on here. So if somebody from Georgia Boots is watching this, maybe you need to... Uh, get on your quality control people a little bit and not have them label the boots like that. So I'm gonna make this short and sweet. I like everything about the boots. That's why I bought them. I spent my hard on money on it and I'm letting everybody know that watches my videos or, or anybody in, in YouTube world that's gonna watch this, that if you're gonna buy these boots because they say waterproof on them, don't waste your money because they are not waterproof, not one bit. And that, that really disgusts me that, they, that I spent that much money on a pair of boots and now I gotta pretty much live with it because, I mean, what are they gonna do? Give me my money back so I can go look for another pair of boots or they're gonna go, oh, there must be something wrong with them. There ain't not, nothing wrong with them. They're clean, there's no cracks in the leather, none of that. I believe that when they get wet up to this point where all the stitching is, I believe that all the water comes in right under this stitching and gets right in there and starts soaking up into the sides and into my socks and everything else. So out of a five star rating, I like the way the boots built. I'm gonna give you one star. That's a huge thumbs down, make it a double thumbs down for Georgia boots that say they're waterproof. I'm gonna end my, uh, my rant right there because my rants are gonna be open and honest. My reviews are gonna be open and honest because I am a working class citizen. I work hard for my money and I expect quality when I pay for it. So thank you guys for watching my videos. If you like and subscribe, um, please subscribe, leave some comments and um, be careful what you buy. Have a good night.